Hey, hey everyone, and a welcome in, a welcome back. It's Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's uh, video, please make sure you click that subscribe button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. I have an update on the Adam Dodell case regarding Ivory Hall. And uh, with that, guys, let's uh, get into it. I do not know why this case upsets me, but it does make me very upset. So let's read this new article, and you guys tell me what you think. I think he is absolutely full of So Alabama student says he shot dead fellow student in self-defense in court. An Alabama college student charged with murder in the death of a fellow student told police he shot Adam Bell a Dowdell in the back of the head in self-defense. I do not know how that makes sense. In my mind, I cannot wrap it around how he is shot in the back of the head in self-defense, but it gets better. A Montgomery police detective testified Friday, the Montgomery Advertiser reports. And I am looking for this court docket, and I will find it. Ivory Hall, 20, fled to his hometown, Chicago, days after the shooting and told his priest that he'd killed Dowdell, 22, when Dowdell tried to rob him and then hid the body. Detective A.C. Patterson said during Hall's first court appearance. I'm going to tell my opinion on this at the end of this article. Hall told the priest that he fled because he feared for his safety and because Alabama State University officials advised him to do so. But of course the school officials, however, say they did no such thing. So Hall, an ASU junior, and the priest, Michael Fleger, of St. Sabina Church contacted Chicago police, who in turn contacted Montgomery, police Patterson said. So we get into where Dow Dow asked Ivory Hall for a ride. Dow Dow tried to rob Hall. And Hall had to shoot him in self-defense, Patterson said he was told by a Chicago police officer. Patterson said Hall related he left the gun used in killing near Dowdell's body, but it has not been found. Surveillance of footage at Dowdell's dorm showed both students leaving the dorm room at about 1 p.m. on September 8, 2020. Another camera saw them heading toward the campus exit about three hours later. Hall spoke with university police on September 12, 2020, telling them he had been shooting a dice with Dodell at about 1 p.m. and they split up when Hall headed to the fraternity event. So friends said that Dow Dow went to the ATM to get money and he never returned. So Patterson also testified that Hall said either an ASU officer or the ASU president told him to leave Montgomery for his own safety after the September 12th interview with ACU police. The university's attorney, Kenneth Thomas, said in a statement that Hall had no contact with the school's president, nor did the president advise Hall about anything. Additionally, the university only learned of the question of Mr. Hall's safety from the Montgomery Police Department, and no members of ASU's law enforcement gave Mr. Hall any advice to leave Montgomery, Thomas wrote. Patterson also said, Police found Hall's vehicle at a tire shop on the same day Dow Dow's body was located. There was a lot of blood in the vehicle, Patterson testified, along with blood in the glove compartment, on the passenger seat belt, and on the back carpet. Patterson said investigators found cleaning supplies in the trunk. Patterson also said police were looking at a reported incident in which Hall was allegedly chased and shot at by someone in a car. Hall was being held, like I said in my last video, on that $250,000 bond, and his attorney is still seeking to have that bond reduced. But as of now, it has not been reduced, and I don't think it should. 
Okay, let me just read this part that's highlighted in yellow on this little document because everything else is basically what I just told you, but in other wording. So, Ivory Hall appeared before District Court Judge Tiffany McCord on Friday in a virtual preliminary hearing in which Montgomery Detective A.C. Patterson discussed details of his investigation, which Hall became the center of after connecting with Chicago Police Department to give Montgomery Police the location of Dow Dow's body. And then, let's see, so Hall was the one that gave the Montgomery Police Lieutenant directions to the location of Dow Dow's body, which was 10 to 15 feet from the road up an embankment in a heavenly weeded area. Dow Dow died from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head, Patterson testified. Also indicated, let me say this once again, the gun he used in the slaying was placed near Dow Dow's body, but despite a thorough search of the area, it was not found. Okay, my opinion, and this is my opinion, my opinion on this is that Ivory Hall and his friend of a couple of years from what Adam Adele's mom said that they played some dice and then he went to the ATM machine to withdraw money. So why would Adam have to rob Ivory if he was going to get money out of the ATM machine? Maybe they play you know, dice for money? I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. Then you find his car at the tire shop and he has blood on the seatbelt and blood in the back seat. Ivory shot him one time in the back of the head and cleaning supplies in the trunk. Now, I don't know about some people and some of these crazy conspiracy theories out there, but to me, it was premeditated. Something was going on between them. And I do not think one shot in the back of his head is a self-defense move. And considering the supplies and he fled to Chicago and they brought him back and then he said where the body was. If it was self-defense, why didn't he call 911? Guys, leave your opinions. I've got a lot of comments on this case about maybe they had a relationship and they were gay. I thought and still think maybe there is some type of relationship maybe with a girl involved. I don't know. But like I said earlier, this is the judge, Tiffany McCord, and I am going to stay on top of this. I am in the 15th Judicial Circuit Court of Alabama, and I am going to see if I can somehow find Ivory Hall's court date from Friday and see if um, I could find video. With that, guys, that is what I have on the update on the Adam Adele Adele, aka Bell, rest in peace case. And with that, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. And thank you for uh, watching. Uh, please like or dislike whichever you prefer. And uh, subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay uh, vigilant. I am out.